In this video, I will talk about Salim Makula, Ranga Chivaviro, and Benson Omala. Hello and welcome to Kosi Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo. I am your host. This is what fans meet and talk about KZ Chiefs Amakusi Football Club. And the issue of a goalkeeper at KZ Chiefs has been talked about a lot because there are talks of they are renewing a contract Kakune. There are talks of Guti Vuma wants to leave the Chiefs. And that is why Vele Chiefs are being heavily linked with the Richards Bay goalkeeper Usalim Makula. Now, there are new revelations because we already knew Guti Chiefs are apparently trying to get the keeper to come to Chiefs. Now, their developments of Guti Pirate are also in the race. Like, yeah, we want a goalkeeper. We are tired of Omponcha and we are tired of all these keepers making mistakes. Although, right now, China is doing well for them. But the Pirates are still looking to strengthen in that position. So achieves, by the way. Now, what has come out is the fact that Achieves and Pirate actually would have to pay 8 million with release clause. I was shocked to see Uguti. For the first time, I see a South African player, Ukulunyong Uguti, he has a release clause. So here he is. Salim Makul apparently has an 8 million rands release clause. And I don't think Achieves will be paying that amount of money to sign a goalkeeper. I mean, we were sitting here last week complaining Uguti Chiefs will not pay 12 million to buy Mendieta, so why would they pay 8 million to buy a goalkeeper? The good news, if the Chiefs did want to sign Usalim Makula, would be the fact that he's in a short-term contract with, um, what's this team? Richards Bay FC. And because of that, then Richards Bay FC might be willing to negotiate with the Chiefs or the Pirates to say, hey, if you want to come to our if you want to sell us the player and avoid losing him for free here's the money give us the player end of story the question is now who is going to offer a better amount of money because you know but usually when we have to pay money each chiefs and pirates pirates usually end up coming up top so i think this might just come down to the fact that pirates is a keeper that they want to get rid of but they want to get a to, to, to get a new keeper so they could offer a swap deal. Chiefs could do the same thing because Ubvuma wants to leave. They can offer Ubvuma to Richards Bay. Pirates can do the same. Then the question will come down to who's willing to pay more money on top of that. And that is where I think Chiefs might end up failing to sign this goalkeeper. Anyway, before we move along, please do make sure to like the video. It helps me to reach more people like you. Also subscribe to the channel. That also helps me to reach more people like you. Become a member. If you are a member, you get member shoutouts. You get loyalty pages and priority reply to comments. I took out the early release of content because I know Guti. Even when I do, usually the people who are already members don't watch the videos earlier than everyone else. So I decided to Guti, I will do I'm a member shoutout instead. Instead, starting tomorrow. So you become a member. It's only 20 rands per month. And you get these um benefits of being a member so thank you for those of you who have become members of the channel now moving along to Benson omala who is Benson omala some of you probably click just because of this guy so he's a 21 year old lol <laughs> i'm saying lol because look at his picture and then you'll see with well, this guy doesn't look 21 like Kusail. anyways he's from kenya and he's playing for this team called or Mahia, uh, I think that's the name of the team. And the team is currently second on the Kenyan League. And he's also playing in the Confed Cup with the Gor Mahia. And they are also second in the Confed Cup on their group in their um, group stage table uh, after Izamalek. So they are quite seems like they're doing well for themselves. And what's impressive about him that has apparently gotten Ichif's interested in him. Is that in the past 20, he has 23 goals in 25 games. That's an impressive stat. And given what is playing in the Kenyan League, which is relatively competitive, so you understand why Chiefs are looking at him. And for a 21 year old, uh, it would make sense why Chiefs are looking at that player. And also because if you think about it, Chiefs are trying to sign younger players and he kind of fits that bill. I haven't seen a lot of his videos because sometimes videos are deceptive. But the few things that I've seen of him, it seems like he definitely knows how to move off the board better than Caleb 
But we will see this development because he's apparently the best player in Kenya right now. So it would be interesting to see how that story develops because we've seen Uguti this season and right now Ukelep is being put, is not played in the last four games in a row, I think now. So that tells you Uguti Vele Chiefs are not satisfied with Ukelep. As such, they might end up signing someone else. And I don't know what will happen to Caleb because as it stands right now, he's not playing. So rather than keep a player in your squad who's, who's going to end up not playing at all ever, then you might as well just go out and sign someone because there is also the Tokyo good they are trying to renew Itilga Kama. But if they renew Itilga Kama, that means a lot of salary as well. So then they might be thinking, why not just go and get another player who's going to come in young and grow with the team, does not have Amaris Kama injuries. It's all over the place, right? It's all over the place. But it would be interesting once again to see with him how does the season end with those two things. Does case the Chiefs need to sign a goalkeeper? That's the question that I want you guys to go down down off down the comment section and leave an answer, Uguti. Do you think it would make sense for Chiefs to sign Usalim Makula? Do you think Chiefs should sign this 21-year-old Benson Omala from or Mahia, because he's proven what he can play competitively in African football as well. Or, or should he Chiefs just go for Ranga Chivariro? Who's Ranga Chivariro? <laughs> this Ranga Chivariro, he's a 30 year old Zimbabwean striker who's currently playing for Marumo Kalans. He's on form. He's really on form this season. There's no denying that. Uh, and in the, in the game... Uh, the game before last, uh, he actually scored a hat trick. B8, it was two penalties, but either way, he still play. He still scored three goals when Imarumo Kalans were playing against the cheaper. So his his form is is is, is okay, I guess he, he, to 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 say the least. Because he even we 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 have confederations cup. He's been scoring goals, and now apparently they are. Rumors once again linking him with the Chiefs. But there were also rumors linking him with the Richards Bay. There were even talks so Oguti has even signed a deal with the Richards Bay. And then there were also rumors Oguti Pirates have entered the race to sign him. And now HNT RK was saying no, he hasn't signed a deal with Richards Bay because they will have to look for a move abroad before they can see Oguti he can, can he sign to the South African team. I'm like, he's 30, man. He's 30 and he's playing for Maromo Kalans and you think there is a team abroad that wants to sign him. I think this just makes me think, Uguti, it's one of those PR stunts where they are trying to hype the player and make it seem like he's wanted by Chiefs so that he price Yake can go up for whoever wants him. His agent, though, has also been honest because he says that he hasn't received a call from Ikeza Chiefs to say Chiefs are interested in the player. So that kind of clears that up because we know with any player who's on form, who's in the PSL, they end up being linked with the Kaiser Chiefs. But what do you guys think about this Ranga Chivarero? Do you think if the Chiefs had a choice between Benson Omala and this Ranga Chivarero guy, who do you think they should go for? And do they need a goalkeeper? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one. And until next time, remember, equals Alpelumoy.